Hi guys. So a few days ago I got the SV Boney 48P telescope. Uh, it's a refractor telescope. As you can see. This is it. It's very good build quality. It's 90 millimeters aperture. Uh, the, the dust cover is threaded only. Not, not unlike other telescopes, it is, that is just slip on the aperture there. Uh, I have this ring made from slight thin cardboard because this telescope has a uh, the, the edges are not black end of the lenses, so it has some weird star spikes when you show it uh, when you point it to bright stars. It's a very good build quality, it is uh, double. Uh, uh, Clayford focuser, I think it's, it's double speed focuser. It has the 1.5 inch adapter here, and this is it turns. You can turn the camera like this. One second, you loosen the screw, and as you see, it turns. You can turn the camera like this, and obviously, the, the bigger focus knob is to. Focus, but this is for fine focus, the orange one, so you can uh, really fine tune the focus. It works pretty well. I tried it yesterday. Uh, chromatic abrasion is not so bad, considering that it's an acromat. Obviously, it has, it has some chromatic abrasion, but it's very minimal, uh, especially when you use it with the SV231 filter that SV Boney has. I, I bought it as well, and uh, you can use it. And, and the filter is very nice because uh, it has uh, threads in the in both sides, so you can screw in filters to the to the SV two three one as well. It's, it's pretty cool, and uh, it has the where you put the guide scope here or something. It uh, balances just fine with my sky washer mount. And it's f f five point five, I believe it is. 90 millimeters and 500 focal length. Uh, it was about 270 euros, something like that. I bought it, but um, there was a bit of taxes, obviously. And it's all metal. Nothing is plastic. About cheap plastic. About this. It's everything. Everything is metal. As we only makes makes really, really durable stuff. So if you're looking for a good acromat. For, for beginning uh, as a photography maybe you might consider this it's, it's very good I'm not getting paid by Svevoni it's just it's just my my word as Svevoni as as you know mostly most of you know I like Svevoni stuff but I have never I have never been paid by them to to say good good stuff most most uh, when I when I say that an item is good is because I tried it personally. And uh, I think you you might spend maybe more money to buy the SV503 because it has ED glass, it's a bit better. But if you want to stay on a budget, I think this is a, is a really good start to, to the hobby as a refractor. And basically that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And... If you're looking, if you're looking for a, some for some good deals, as we on their website, they, many times they have they have like this I bought on, on a twenty percent discount, so I saved quite a bit of money there. You might want to check out their website, not 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 buy from other websites, because most of most times, as we only makes makes really, really good deals, and the the filter I got it with this with a deal as well, because the filter by itself I I believe it costs about. Uh, 40 or 50 euros I think something like that but the filter I think is essential for this uh, without it it has it has a bit of chromatic operation I, I think I think the filter is very essential for this so you might want to check it out an item millimeter refractor is is pretty good for us for starting astrophotography uh, since refractors don't have uh, a secondary obstruction like Newtonians this 90 millimeter is like a 5 inch. 
because you don't have anything obstructing the view like uh, with an Newtonian. So it's, it's pretty good. And refract, and this is sharp. I tried it, it's sharp. So it's not blurry or anything, it focuses perfectly. Obviously, the glass will be that little bit better. You, you get what you pay for. Um, uh, I think for the, for the money, you can't go wrong with this. And uh, that's it for this video. Give me a th thumbs up if you like the video. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.